If you come to me to say, now let's still do something about the land, I'd say bear in mind what we've said in that Freedom Charter for many decades. The land shall be shared among those who work it. That is a very well thought out position, strategic position with regard to solving a number of issues here. The national question, the land question. No, somebody pops up. No, 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 no. Let's take the land and give it to our people. So I say, me, I belong to the ANC. Who, according to the ANC in South Africa, is not our people? There's nobody who's not our people. <laughs> land shall be shared among those who work it, black and white and whoever they are. In 1994, we, uh, in our assessment of the situation in the country, we said, uh, I'm talking now about the ANC, we said it's obvious that uh, not everybody in South Africa will be happy with the change that is taking place. Therefore, it's inevitable, it's inevitable that there will be an attempt at counter-revolution. It's inevitable. And we thought that attempt would come via violence, there would be bombings and be assassination of people and all that. And indeed, we were quite correct, that's what happened. I think you'd, call, you'd recall the people got arrested, then the Puremach and all that. Uh, I don't know if they're out of jail now which set off some bombs and so on. And in a sense, when the, the security forces succeeded to do that, yeah, our understanding was that, well, this counter-revolution that we had feared, in fact, has been dealt with. And we were quite wrong. You will see I'm sure, uh, all of you, again, educated people. There's quite a lot of discussion in the media about what is meant by the National Democratic Revolution. And a lot of opinion here that this is a program that was decided by Lenin in Russia many years ago. It's a communist program and it's stage one towards socialism. You find that a lot of that discussion. Yeah. And that's part of the thinking that informed the counter-revolution. But in this ANC, what is this ANC? This ANC is nothing but a proxy of Moscow. It's a communist front. What it wants to do with South Africa is to reproduce that socialism following the stage one of the National Democratic Revolution. So we must defeat it by all means. I'm talking about the thinking, the ideology between this country revolutionary intervention. So what I'm saying, colleagues, in the end, in order to understand this Age number two, according to Dr. Andres, where you then have all of these negatives. None of them are accidental. You cannot have an ANC government performing as it did during age number one, and suddenly, in age two, it behaves in the opposite direction. There's been a change somewhere. And that change includes the change in the leadership of the ANC. So, when we're talking about, therefore, what is to be done? Tim Siller said, this ANC breakaways, uh, coalition politics, and all of, what do we do about all of that? I'm saying in that context of what's been happening in the country, how do we understand the breakaways? Or just take, take the MK party. You, you can't say, you can't say, I, remember, I remain a member of the ANC, 
but I support a party which is going to campaign to defeat the ANC. That doesn't make sense. One of those two things is wrong. So in terms of these breakaways from the ANC, take, take that breakaway. Uh, you can understand that. Uh, it is led by the same people who tried to destroy SARS. It's exactly the same people. It is exactly the same people. So you can understand who they are. Uh, Or even take the youth. Yeah. Take the Youth League of the ANC. Quite affected by all of this. At some point you have an ANC Youth League which has got its own political platform. Separate, different from the political platform of the ANC. It can't be ANC Youth League, it must be somebody else's Youth League. What happened? Suddenly you've got, uh, you know, the uh, very popular thing. I think even my com comrade president here referred to about land. Yeah. There's established ANC policy, which is in the Freedom Chart. If you come to me to say, now let's still do something about the land, I'd say, bear in mind what we've said in that Freedom Charter for many decades. The land shall be shared among those who work it. That is a very well thought out position strategic position with regard to solving a number of issues here. The national question, the land question, how do we handle it? No, somebody pops up. No, 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 no. Let's take the land and give it to our people. So I say, me, I belong to the ANC. Who, according to the ANC in South Africa, is not our people? There's nobody who's got our people. That's ANC policy. Somebody else's policy might be very different. But that's why the ANC says this, land shall be shared among those who work it. Black and white and whoever they are. But I'm saying you have a, a youth league which is called an ANC youth league which has got a very different policy from the ANC on this matter. Is it ANC? It's not. It's a youth league show, but a youth league of somewhere else. Uh, I'm trying to indicate, colleagues, what has happened, which has produced these two ages that Dr. Andres talks about, age number one where everything is going this way and age number two when things are going the other direction. Under the same political party. So, I think uh, in, terms of, in terms of our response to all of these challenges about coalitions and so on, uh, the question that we must ask, where do we want South Africa to be? Not where do we want the political parties to be, where do we want South Africa to be? In terms of employment, in terms of everything that we talked about, industrialization and so on. And who will get us there? You'll read all of the election manifestos, all of them, without exception. That's all of them say, we'll get you there. Whom do you believe? Thank you for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video.
please share and like and subscribe because that's the way you support Kwasami as a channel, an Afrocentric channel, uh, where we try to understand um, deeper issues in African history and hopefully develop um, a collective intelligence on how we wish to build the Africa we want to see as people of Africa. See you in the next one.